You're going to see a train on the cover of Time Magazine one of these days. And I'm going to be in that cab in the picture. It's going to say multiple people murdered on a train. And my picture is going to be one of the many pictures. Trains, an underrated form of transportation, if I say so myself. You get to glide along a countryside, sit with other passengers, go through carts and stuff. It's just a very, I don't know, I like trains. Not to a, a Bobby Bacala level, but I, 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 I enjoy trains. And I enjoy train films and film, films involving trains. You got so many different genres of train films. You got... The Unstoppable Train films, you got the uh, Murder Mystery Train films, you got the uh, Hostage Train films, you got the Heist Train films, you got Snowpiercer, whatever that one was, and then you got Train Horror films. Trains and horror have been intrinsically linked since the beginning of film, with that first film of the train coming towards the screen and everybody who watched it like dodged out of the way because they really thought a train was coming towards them. And then you got other classic train horror films like uh, Train to Busan. I haven't seen that one yet, but I'm sure that's a classic already. You got whatever Snowpiercer was again. You got uh, Midnight Meat Train. I haven't seen that one, but I'm sure that's a horror film by the title. So... We're here to talk about a, t a train slasher film by the name of Terror Train. I have no idea what the hell this movie's about. All I know is it's got Gene Shalit, apparently, like I said last time. There he is, folks. The one and only Gene Shalit. Some of you kids don't even know who the fuck Gene Shalit is. Gene Shalit was a weird movie critic. That's all, that's all I can tell you. Just a weird looking guy. He chose to look like that, Gene Shalit, okay? That's what he chose to look like. Anyway, this isn't, we're not roasting Gene Shalit. We should be, but we're not. We're here to talk about Terror Train. Murderer on a train. Murder mystery on a train, I guess. It's a, it's a slasher train flick, flick. I don't know. Jamie Curtis is in it. So if it's got Jamie Lee Curtis, I, I'm in. And if it's early 80s, 70s Jamie Lee Curtis, I'm even more in because Hot Tamale. She was a, she's still a looker. I got that Knives Out poster like right there. You can't even see it. It's off screen. It's a Knives Out poster. And she's still a looker, goddammit. I'm hype to see Halloween kills. Anyway, why am I rambling about trains for so long? Let me take off the conductor hat and all aboard the terror train. It's a sorority picture. All right, we're in for a we're in for a lot of douches. We're in for a lot of douches. I mean, going by the hats alone, hey, we're in for a lot of douches. Is, Look man. at them hats. Huh? You trust me? <laughs> okay. That's a guy. Oh, okay. That's a guy. Let's go. That's a guy. Don't worry. I should have known by the hat, but I, I wasn't sure. Now what, what what's Did happening here? Now what's oh, happening here? There's a cowgirl. There's a, a rave happening up here. What is? What are these lights? Who? I I don't understand sororities and fraternities. I never understood them. They're kind of bullshit in my opinion. Uh, so I don't understand what this is. This an initiation process? Is this some sort of uh, uh sorority uh hazing? I don't know. Some sort of prank? Oh no! Is he gonna get killed? Is he going to get murdered by the killer? He hasn't said a word. I, feel, I have a feeling this kid's going to get murdered. Now, what is those symbols? Are those e, 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 Epsilon, Kappa, Omega, Zappa Kappa Dappa? I don't know for Ferrarities. Ferrarities. It's a it's a a, a, a co co. Uh, <laughs> it's a fraternity and a sorority. Yeah. Ferrarities. Hello? All right, dude. Look, hey, maybe we start with the. Maybe you haven't even like seen her. Are this, are this, is this Don't underwear yellow? This is my first time too. Is this underwear yellow? Pink, yellow. 
Oh no, it's a prank. What the fuck is that? Is that a mannequin? Is he gonna fuck a, a blow up doll? Oh, this dorky kid. What the fuck is that? Whoa! Hey, what? Uh... What the fuck is that? That's not a prank. That's not a prank. That's not. Is, is he turning into a mummy? What's happening? I'm sorry. If you use if you use a dead body for a prank, not even the jackass people have used like an actual, actual cadaver for a prank. That's a dick move on just epic proportions. Howard Bus Gang, Bus Gang, he's in the wrong move. David Copperfield. Who had some? Who blackmailed David Copperfield to be in this movie? Somebody has the David Copperfield sex tape to force them, force him to be in this movie. Why would David Copperfield be in this movie? This seems more like a Penn and Teller movie. Three years later. They just came back from rock bottom. I'm gonna stop with the SpongeBob joke. <laughs> oh my god, they just came back from Glove Land. Look, they got the glove balloons. They were in Glove World. They were in Glove World. They were in Rock Bottom. For some reason, everyone has ma It's winter and everyone's in costumes. Is it though? Or is it just a bunch of people sh shouting over each other? Is that what constitutes a party? I don't know. I don't get invited often. Oh, there's a blow-up doll. Why didn't you use a blow-up doll for the prank? Same difference. What? 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 what, what? That's sociopathic. I'm still stuck on this dead body thing. That's sociopathic. Woman in a wheelchair. There's something there, right? There has to be. I'm. I think every movie I've seen on this channel involves somebody in a wheelchair, and I appreciate it. But also, like, what's going on there? Is there something about horror movies in wheelchairs that I'm not aware of? Or... I'm gonna have to look that up one day. That was the lamest kiss. Y'all clearly did not pay her enough for that kiss. Ah, uh, what a prankster. Wait, is he really? Oh, <laughs> that's what you get, you fucking clown. You fucking dumbass. That's what you get for not shutting the fuck up. Now somebody else has the Gene Shallot mask. And take your, for some reason, real sword. Yeah, I got his real sword for his costume. For authenticity's sake. Oh god, he's gonna get run over by the fucking train. They better show him get run over by this train. This better not be one of them movies that cuts away. I wanna see the train squish him. Here we go. Oh! Oh. Didn't show the train squish him. They better, when the train gets out of the way, there better be like a flat human being. Like when Squidward gets trampled. So it's the dorky kid then. So he's, he's getting revenge because they embarrassed him by making him touch a dead body sexually. I mean, look, he's got, he's got incentive. I'll give him that. He's got incentive. You're going to see a train on the cover of Time Magazine one of these days. I'm going to be in that cab in the picture. It's gonna say multiple people murdered on a train and my picture is gonna be one of the many pictures You can tell me that's any member of the Brady Bunch and I'd believe you David Copperfield he was he was George Brady on the Brady Bunch. You didn't know that look at him Gilligan over here Fucking Eric Estrada from chips Do you like these 70s references? I don't think that kid looks too happy about his situation that you guys put him through. I think he, um, I think he snapped mentally, to be honest with you. Absolutely. I think if you go to his room, uh, wherever he lives, he's got a, he's got a goddamn list of y'all's names. Why, and he's, he's crossing them off with lipstick. And he's got a cork board with strings. He's Pepe Silvia-ing this. He's, he's had three years to plan this train murder spree. Oh my god, this, the, the conductor's two weeks away from retirement or something. 
I'm just gonna rest my old bones after this trip, this easy, non-consequential, real breezy trip where nothing can and will go wrong. Anyway, did y'all hear a woman scream back there? Why the fuck ain't you speaking? Why ain't you speaking? Hey, Ed. You look like you lost a lot of weight and gained some height. Hey, Ed. Your eyes are a different color. And your hair, too. Hey, Ed. <laughs> Takes off the mask. Hey, Ed. Your face is different. Those are with the bread. I've got all the ideas. For instance... For instance, so I, stuff I, gave I got more dead bodies to prank people with. These are hilarious. They're dead babies. It's even funnier this time. We're going to stack the dead babies in a trench coat. And I don't know how we're going to balance them, but we're going to make the dead babies walk, right? And you know those fetuses that are in jars of formaldehyde? I got like a shelf of those. Those are going to be hilarious to use. We're going to put them in a punch bowl. And we're going to have people drink. The dead fetus juice. It's gonna be. It's gonna be a hoot and a half. I, I tell you guys. Surprising. I love that we're getting some conductor. Some conductor plot. What about those smart Alex in the back? This could be. This could have been a movie all about these annoying ass teenagers. Uh, but no, we gotta get these conductors. These old swarthy conductors. They can cool down with themselves. Yeah, Budweiser. We're gonna play. We're gonna play some cards while these kids get absolutely fucking murdered on our train. Admit He's just doing a David Blaine trick. I like how he's doing it close up too. I like how they do it close up like that. That's a good, uh, you know, it's David Copperfield. He's a good magician, god damn it. So I, I, we're just randomly getting a David Copperfield magic act in the middle of this movie. But if I check behind my ear, there's a finger of your friends that was murdered. Now, if I put the finger away, where did it go? Where's your friend? Oh my god, even the conductor's doing magic. I'll do my own magic trick. Hold up. Always happens to me. Always. Oh, come on, pet. You're always looking for that kind of guy, right? I mean, what you have to say is fuck him. Listen, if Jackson shows up... I dropped it. It's... <laughs> I don't know magic. Why do I look like I know magic? Me too. Here's a magic trick. Oh. I bet the shit missed the train. Fuck you. Why am I so why am I so aggressive today? I don't know. I did not appreciate that prank in the beginning. That's why I'm so aggressive. I truly am. You kids want to see a magic trick? I learned this one from David Copperfield. We just saw it. Shit. He did the quarter thing? Yeah. Alright, what about the vending machine thing? Yeah. That's some bitch. Paid him fifty dollars for those tricks. Each. I, look, I love this conductor. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I love the conductor. If the conductor dies, we riot because this man. First of all, if the conductor dies, we all die because he's a conductor. But if, if also if he dies, we riot because goddamn it, he's a he's a charming old man. I love charming old people. Very well done. You know how he does it, sir? Shouldn't you be driving this train? <laughs> We're sworn to secrecy. Why are you why are you mingling with the college kids, dude? Go go back to the front. <laughs> go start shoveling the coal, dude. You you're you're a guy you're get it together, buddy. We didn't hurt. Oh, oh no, his girlfriend went to the beach that makes him old. I wanna see what he does. She went to the beach that makes you old, how oh no. Oh never mind. She's still mad. Mad about what? Yeah, the dead body mad. thing? The thing that you tricked her with a dead body and almost, you know, psychologically murdering a nerd with a dead body? She's still mad about that? Well, if she dumps, she always got me, you know. What are you implying? What do you mean by that? I mean it. Sorry. False alarm. It's all right. Please let go of me, sir. No, you're right. I got to get back to the front of the train. I think we're about to crash into some sort of mountain or something. I'll be right back. Yeah, you sure you guys have had any experience? Experience? Us? Oh, come on. Tell him, Doc. We got experience. Mo and I worked with, with girls, not with each other, right? Right? Yeah. Right? Yeah, that's right. You Doc tell him. Right? Best paps Myrna supporting role. Come on. 
We're 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 in a frat. We're not. No. Uh, Enjoy yourselves. Thank you. Let's dance. Here's my number, by the way. The men. For magic purposes, you know, if you want to hire me for a magic show or for train purposes as well. Just just for for professional purposes, my number. Those hearts are professional hearts. On the card, I didn't. I wouldn't go now. Smells like an alcohol problem to me. <laughs> I'll be the judge of that. Don't worry about that, kids. I'll open the door for <laughs> you. I'm sure there's nothing out of the ordinary in this train. I swear to God. There? He's the Columbo, the Poirot, the Sherlock Holmes of the train. Please tell me that's what he ends up being. Someone killed a Ninja Turtle in the bathroom. Oh, sweet, merciful Lord. I can't, I, they're not wearing the colored bandanas. I don't know which one it is, but it's definitely a Ninja Turtle. I swear to God, I hope it's not Raph. Wait a second. This is a ma This ain't a written false alarm. <laughs> oh, that was a close one. Not a real ninja. Isn't is a costume. Not a real Ninja Turtle. It's just a human being. It's just a, it's just a human being. Oh Lord. Look at David Copperfield's collar. Sweet merciful Zeus. He's look he looks like a fucking Phoenix Wright lawyer. What are you talking about? Why is he dressed like that? Magicians, I swear to God. Man, everyone's wearing a mask in this fucking party train. I want to wear a mask. Hold on. Hey, Doc, where are you going? And nobody signed my yearbook on the year that I pranked that nerd kid with the dead body. It's almost like nobody uh, wanted to hang out with me after I used the dead body to prank a nerd kid into some sort of, some sort of psychiatric state. It wasn't a big deal. I just pranked a nerd kid with a dead body. <laughs> Hurry then. Go address him. And then we don't see how she gets got. Where'd he, where'd, where'd the dude go? Where'd the body of the guy go in the lizard costume? First of all, how can he fit in everyone's costumes perfectly? That was a gangly boy. A very gangly boy fitting in these, these fully grown adult uh, costumes. I'll have to convince you. Don't look at her like that, David. No, no. What a fucking creepazoid. Don't be this guy. Don't be this guy. This fucking look at him. Looks like he does, look. He looks like he's in a Wes Anderson movie. I gotta this take this mask off. I look like I got. I can't roast a movie when I look equally as dumb. <laughs> and how the hell did he bust that mirror? He is a Columbo type. Look, he's a Poirot type. He's got um, no, no. These things bother me. You see. These loose ends. Just, just one more thing. But I'm gonna do it. How did he break that mirror? That's third grade stuff. Really? And you fucking do it. Now. At knife point, you fucking do my magic trick. I do this with everyone who proves me, who tries to prove me wrong. You fucking dick. Uh, it's supposed to say dick, because that's what you are. You're a fucking dick. You ever disrespect... You ever disrespect David Copperfield again. And my magic... The, the David Copperfield brand, I'm coming after you, all right? I'm sawing you in half, and I'm not putting you back together. I'm putting you in that, 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 I'm putting you in that drawer, and I stick all the knives, the swords through the drawer, and I'm not taking the knives out. Oh, don't kill the conductor next. No. He's got to solve this case. Are you okay? I'm going to be honest with you, no. You know who this is? Some shit is going down. And I can't tell you what's going down, but I'm worried about you. Because some shit's going the fuck down. Occupied. 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 My dick's out. Hey, some of us are sleeping here. I don't know. She's around somewhere. I heard she was dead tired. <laughs> Dildos, clowns, some weird freaky shit was going on in this cart. Let's get out of here. You YouTube pranksters out there, let this be a lesson. Don't take that shit so far. Don't use dead bodies. That's no good. Stay in the car. I'll be 
they made me get off. I mean, they had to search here. He's the nerd. Oh my god, it's the magician's assistant is the nerd. Oh my god. Holy jamolies. It's the it's the lady. Jeez, I, was I know. I you can't fucking I I had a feeling too. I should have said something earlier, but I had a feeling. I was like that 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 lady looks kind of like the nerd from the beginning. Mother of yeah, God, yeah, they tried to psycho me. Well, you almost got me, movie. The magician. Magician. I'll show you. Come on. Doc's got the picture. But, but I like magicians. Maybe we should let him go. Is your friend anemic? Or, uh, were y'all drinking some Hawaiian punch? Keep her outside. Because if not, I don't think y'all want to be in here right now. I was two weeks away from retirement, and the goddamn murder mystery had to happen on my train. My train. And not just any murder mystery. This is gruesome. There's a body count here. It's not just one. There's multiple people being murdered. I could be one of them. I'm not a fan of that. I would have rather just a one dead body. But now we got goddamn heads falling. Heads are rolling on this train and I'm not a fan. I don't take kindly. I gotta start drinking hot tea during these videos because I'm, I'm, I, I lose my voice by the end of these movies. You guys don't know, but I, 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 I end up with a sore throat after every video. It's not good. He's not there, he's dead. She killed him. She killed David Copperfield. She made him permanently disappear. He's in the box with the swords, and he's got the swords through him, doesn't he? Please tell me that. Oh, I hope to God that's how it happened. See, that that is a Jamie Lee Curtis scream right there. That is a... There's a reason she's a scream queen, folks. Boo. Wow, I timed that really good. I'm getting, hey, I'm getting the hang of these jump scares. Texas Chainsaw taught me well, I tell you what. I'll get you, my pretty. <laughs> I knew it! He got sorted! That's fantastic, dude. Hell yeah, that's how you kill a magician in a movie. 10 out of 10. My god, the obvious has been revealed. Don't kiss him. And if you do, bite his mouth off, bite his tongue off, bite his nose off, bite something off, bite something off. That's all it took, huh? That's all it took. All it, he just had to make out with him and he killed him. Oh god! Hell yeah, conductor, bonk him on the fucking noggin. There he goes. Oh god! <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Landed like Russell Crowe in Les Mis. Holy shit! <laughs> I was waiting for a curse splash, not a kerchunk. Honestly, it happens to everybody that kisses Jamie Lee Curtis. All right. If she kissed me, I would probably freak out like that too, to be honest. Is that it? Are we going to credits? Wow! That's how it ends. No. Okay. There's no, like, close one, right? Yeah, close one. Nothing? It's just bonk, kerchunk, float, credits. All right, well, that was Terror Train. Uh, I'll be honest with you. I, though I did figure out the twist pretty early on, not as early as I thought I would, but though I did figure out the twist, still a decent twist, to be honest. Um... Otherwise, kind of a, I don't know, I don't know, I don't like that everything happens off screen, I don't like that, uh, the, the, the best part is the conductor, obviously, that dude saved the movie for me, because if it was just about the douchey college kids, I, this movie would be, this movie would be insufferable, insufferable, because there's not a goddamn likable person in those kids, the conductor is the only likable person in this movie, and Jamie Lee Curtis, obviously. But yeah, I don't like, and, and, and it was too convenient for this dude. He just kept getting, he just, I don't know. A lot of convenience. 
I like that he kept switching costumes on people. That was a pretty cool, uh, like, concept. The killer that just, like, changes into the person he just killed. Uh, that, that's a pretty cool... That, that would have been cool if, you know, if these costumes actually had a reason to be. Why not make it a Halloween party train? Why, why is it New Year's party train with people in costumes? There's no reason for them to be in costumes. This poster lied to me, by the way. This poster lied to me. I was expecting way more Gene Shalit than I got. All right. Time to see what next week's movie is going to be. Got the randomizer all set. Bada bing, bada boom. Blam, 34. Getting a lot of low numbers lately. 34. Holy shit. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this one. Oh, boy. Okay. Wait, oh, this is going to be a complicated one to edit. I'll tell you that. Oh, my God. I've only seen photos of this movie. Photos of this next movie, next week's movie. And just by the photos, I can tell you, this is going to be hard for me to edit. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to show on 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 a video on youtube of this movie without it getting like deleted or blocked or whatever uh and you'll be able to tell just by this poster next week's movie is society <sighs> oh boy <laughs> i'm in trouble all right well i'm excited to finally see this terrified to edit it that's the scary part for me is editing that video. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm a big fan of Slither, so hopefully this is something like that. Anyway, join me, uh, join me next week for Society. Society.